guys, it is Lorraine, and today, as the title says, I am doing my December TBR. And if you're wondering why this is coming out before my November wrap-up, it's because I have yet to get a TBR up in like the past four months, and that's ridiculous. So, I'm doing my TBR. I want to get this done quickly, so sorry if I seem fast, but... There are two events going on in the month of December. First, it is hashtag read women. This comes from Tumblr. The creator's name is on the screen right now. She created this last year or the year before. It's really popular and it's Read Women where you read only female authors. And I didn't do it last year, but I decided to go ahead and do it this year. So I'm reading only women. And part of the reason I didn't read, do it last year is because of hashtag a year -thon, which is read manga. Well, I sat down, I got a bunch of manga and comics and graphic novels that are all written by women or co-written by women. In one case, it's my favorite mangaka ever and she's just doing the illustrations and I don't care, it counts. Well, let's start with what I already read. So first off, I've already read Elf Quest, The Final Quest, number 12. This came out at the very end of November. I didn't get it until the beginning of December. So I read it yesterday, December 1st, and just kind of kicked off Read Women with some Wendy Peeney. This is amazing. My response down in the doobly-doo, it's amazing. But going on to hashtag a Eurathon, I have one graphic novel that I have in person, and that is Catwoman Gotham Underground. This is volume four. It is by Anne Nocinti, Rafa Sandoval, Jordi Tarragona, and various others. But Anne, female name, lady heads it, so I count it. Comics are written by like 40 people per issue, so, and I'm very excited to continue on with that. Now, just going down, you will have to go down below to get the names of the mangaka, because I don't have them. Starting things off, I'm gonna go with Dengeki Daisy. I only have the last two parts of the epilogue, so this is chapter 75.8 and .9, and then I'm done with the entire series. Yay! Been waiting to finish that for like two months. Then I have Akagami no Shiryuki Hime, that's chapters 65 through 69. Black Butler, this is by Yana Toboso, chapters 107 to 110. By the way, the finale chapters, that's either the end of the series in a few, or it's just how much has been released online at this point. From Far Away, this is a reread, so I'm just gonna read it if I have time during Hashtag Yearathon, because I read manga really fast. So if I am like have nothing else to read, because I'm done with my long manga list, I'll reread some From Far Away. And I am currently in the middle of rereading volume seven. Then The Heroic Legend of Arslan, the mangaka who does the illustrations is the one I mentioned, and that is Hiromu Arakawa, author of Full Metal Alchemist. There are chapters 26 through 29 online, so I'm going to finish that. Hikaru no Go, chapters 166 onward until the end at 191. Kikaishi, I thought I was done with volume 2. I didn't. I am in the middle of volume 2. I'm on chapter 13. It goes to chapter 16. Then I'm done with volume 2, so I want to continue with that. Triple X Holic Ray, this is by Clamp. I am on volume 6, and I'm just going to read chapters. 38 through 46, that's all the way through volume 7. And Eureka, chapter 221 and 222. So that's what I'll read online. Also online that I don't have because I can't find it anywhere, it's not even on Goodreads, and that is ElfQuest FireEye. This is by Wendy and Richard Peeney, so more on this. I'm currently in the middle of rereading ElfQuest. I want to wrap that up for the year, so I'm in the middle of FireEye. I want to read FireEye. I got some Jink. I got some Rebels and other stories along there to also read, so I'm going to read as much of that as I possibly can. Now, what I am currently reading is at the bottom. The first I picked up last month and then paused for this month. Black Widow Forever Red. This is by Margaret Stowe. I've paused in it because it's not very good not liking it so far. Book one, it's in three books or three parts or something. And so part one was good and part two is not so good so far. So I'm like, eh. And instead I picked up the biggest book on this list other than Forever Red. And that's Prodigy by Marie Lu. POC characters and of course Marie Lu is not Caucasian. So getting some diversity in here as well as the read women. I am 120 pages in and I love it. 
so much better than Legend, and I loved Legend. So I'm just going to continue on with that. Some other books that I want to get to, these are just some chapter books and other things. I have The Golden Tree by Catherine Lasky. I am in the middle of this as well. I don't remember where I am, so I'm just probably like going to skim through till I figure out where I am and then continue onward. It's just that numbers 9 through 11 are the best of the series, and then you go to this. It's how the Guardians go who were made, and then you go to the current Guardians and they're being idiots, and it's hard to swallow just because of the epicness of the last three books. But it's been about a year, so I should be able to continue on and just power through it. I also have Last of the Jedi Secret Weapon by Jude Watson. This is number seven, the next of the Last of the Jedi books. Technically, I haven't even read all of Jedi Quest, but Last of the Jedi is easier to find than Jedi Quest for some reason. I don't get it. But this will be a very, very fast read, so might as well try to grab that. I also have Anne McCaffrey, Dragon Song. This is volume one of the Harper Hall trilogy. I tried one of the dragon books and I couldn't get into it, but Raven gave this to me. She's like, I think that you would like this one. And I like the concept. I'll see. If I DNF it, I DNF it. I have other books I can read. Also, Carla Capshaw. This is on loan from Raven, The Protector. This is the sequel to The Gladiator. He has a captive slave that is also a Christian and this is about him Quintus Quintus and Bustus is a slave this is part of the love inspired historical romance from Steeple Hill meaning this is a romance without any sex anything bad in it this is for religious people who have strict strict Christian faith as well as other religions can pick it up but it's all mostly Christian so Raven grabbed it. She's had it for like two years and hasn't read it. So I asked her if I could read it and she said, sure. So I'm definitely reading that. Definitely. That will probably be next if I DNF forever read. And then also just kind of on the list is Anne of Avonlea by L.M. Montgomery. This is the sequel to Anne of Green Gables, which I loved. I loved it. I loved it. These editions are gorgeous. Woo. Look at that photo. Look at that picture. These are gorgeous. I want to continue this series. I have the whole series on my shelf right here. It's out of shot. But I have the whole series now. So I need to get on this. I finally read book one. Need to read book two. Other books that are on my list. This is a huge list. So I can read my Goodreads goal, by the way. So this is big. So The Princess and the Hound by Matt Ivy Harrison. I am also currently reading that. I can finish that. The Selection by Kira Cass. I have three books in that series and want to continue it. Maybe Borrow from Raven or The Library, Talking to Dragons by Patricia C. Reed. I might read the Star Wars book instead. And I am definitely getting from the library Miss Marvel Volume 4, Last Days by G. Willow Wilson and others. Each volume has different, but she's the head of it. So I know I will love that. I'll probably read that if possible during hashtag Eurathon, which starts on December 7th and runs through the 13th. Sorry, checking my calendar right there. All right, that is my TBR. Whew, not very long. I don't know why I've never gotten these up, but I'm looking forward to this. I'm excited to participate in hashtag read women. If you are participating, let me know. If you're not participating, that's okay too. You can do it for other months. Some people I've already seen did it last month and they're doing it this month as well. It's kind of fun to switch things up and also to realize which authors on your shelves are female and male because I didn't know that very well. I actually know I own, maybe now it's 50-50, but last I checked I own more guys. So time to give the ladies some love. Time to give y'all some love. I'm gonna love this book. All right, good luck with your reading. I hope you had a great month last month and I hope that you were able to read some great books this month and I will see you in the next video because I have a lot planned for this month. Bye! I already filled my haul. That's next. There are two events going on. Uh, the creator's name and I'm what one of my favorite. Which Arthur Arthur's? Which Arthur's? Uh -huh.